Criterion 2.2 is about teaching learning process for 160 points. The NBA visiting team inspects many aspects of teaching learning processes and activities under this subcriterion. There are many trion under this teaching learning processes. 2.2.1 is about description of processes to ensure and improve teaching and learning. 25 marks. Initiative to improve the quality of semester test and assignments. 15 marks. Quality of experiments done by the students. 15 marks. Quality of students' projects and report writing. 35 marks. Industry interaction and community services. 30 marks. And 2.2.6 is information access facilities and student centric learning initiative by the program and institute. And next is new initiatives for embedding professional skills. And last is co curricular and extracurricular activities. Sub criterion 2.2.1 First one is adherence to academic calendar for three points. The department needs to provide all supporting documents. All institutes under some council or board follow the academic calendars provided by the council or board. But the departments should have their own academic calendars for the session and that should be in compliance with the council calendar. The academic activities like schedules of class test, mid-semester examinations, etc. should be documented. The claim of such activities being carried out as per calendar should be established. The availability of calendar without any proof of adherence is not considered as adherence to academic calendar. Next is initiative taken by the faculties for teaching and delivery method has to be documented. Three marks. The lesson plan, teaching diary, etc. and the proof of those being implemented should be produced before the visiting team. C. Methodologies to support weak students and encourage bright students. Most of the institutes have some provision of encouraging the bright students. And some institutes take initiative for supporting weak students. But the method and procedures followed to identify the bright students and weak students are not systematically followed and if followed, the process documentation is not available to produce before the NBA team. The impacts of these activities should be recorded. The impact may be observed in the second or third class test. If the identification was done in the first semester itself. If the remedial classes are arranged, the record must be available. Then quality of classroom teaching. Under the classroom teaching, the classroom ambience and the physical inspection during the class may be done by the visiting team. The interaction of the visiting team with the students is also expected. Next one is conduct of experiment. Under conduct of experiments, the quality of experiment, the method of observation, result analysis, etc. will be verified by the team. This is generally verified during the interaction with the students. The visiting of the laboratory during the experiment is also expected from NBA. 
continuous assessment in the laboratory. The assessment of laboratory is done by verification of each experiment book, internal assessment records, final assessment, continuous assessment records, etc. The availability of implementation of scoring rubrics for the laboratory assessment would be a good practice to defend proper assessment process of the department. 2.2.2 Initiative to improve the quality of semester test and assignments. 15 marks. Uh, probably I have missed on point. Uh, that is the assessment of laboratory is done by verification of experimental books and so after that feedback facilities visiting team will ask the students feedback regarding teaching learning process the feedback formats the feedback formats frequency of feedback analysis of feedbacks action taken on the basis of feedbacks and documentation of the records are some important aspects to be inspected by the visiting team. Students' feedback system exists in many institutes, but the analysis and successive actions are not implemented in many institutes. Now, under 2.2, we'll discuss initiative to improve the quality of semester test and assignments. The process of internal semester question paper setting and evaluation and also effectiveness of the process implements. The department has to demonstrate the process of question paper setting, the evaluation and the implementation process, the availability of evaluation guideline, model answers etc. are essential. The documents of schedule of internal semester examination, tagging of questions etc. are expected to be verified by the visiting team. Next question paper setting, taking into account outcomes and learning level. There should be a process for setting a question from the perspective of learning level and outcomes. The process of question validation should be there to comply with the outcome addressed in the curriculum or lesson plan. In other words, the question should address the outcomes uniformly and the accurate cognitive level. The question paper scrutiny committee should be formed and the record of modification and rejection of question paper is expected to be available for inspection. CO coverage in class test, midterm test and also in the assignments. The evidence of question addressing the CO must be available for inspection. Questions should be tagged with the COs. The mapping of the questions should be justified and all COs must be addressed by the assessment instruments. Assignments should be attempt to encourage self-learning by referring multiple sources. Subcriterion 2.2.3 is about quality of experiments. 15 marks. The quality of experiment performed by students, the methodology of experiment, the observation of results and the analysis will be inspected by visiting team. The availability of visual labs is expected by NBA. The experiment's relevance to the outcomes should be revealed by mapping. Now, quality of students' projects and report writing, 35 months. The guidelines by NBA is very clear regarding the expectation from students' projects and report writing. 
department may have informal procedure but there should be a clear guideline for identification of projects and allocation method the whole institute may have one guidelines under institute level internal quality assurance cell and the process documentation should exist it is a good practice to map co's of the project to the po's factors like safety environment ethics economy etc can be easily considered while mapping with the po's process for monitoring and evaluation of project under monitoring and evaluation the department can define and ensure quality project identification through defined rubrics the rubrics provide the expectations from every outcome and a guideline for distribution of marks so it is a good practice to have some good scoring rubrics for monitoring and evaluation of the project process to assess individual and team performance a well defined rubrics can easily address the aspects of addressing individual and team performance the rubrics should be shared with the students in advance there is another video on rubrics what is rubrics and how it can be defined for evaluation of projects and assignment quality of deliverables work prototypes 12 marks the visiting team expects the display of last few years projects with working prototypes the details of evidence of any paper published and awards received are to be documented 2.2.5 industry interaction and community services under industry interaction and community services there are six areas for inspection the first one is is there any industry supported laboratory next is there any course delivered partially or fully from the industry personnel then industrial visit documents of students visit to industries and the record of reports submitted on industrial training or internship aicte has made it mandatory for the institute to provide internship for the students and to have industry in institute interaction marks are given proportionately for example if 100% of the students participate training and internship then and the awarded marks will be 5 if 90% of the student students attend the mark allotted is 4 and so on post training internship assessment the assessment of internship training has to be done and the students feedback may be collected for assessing the impacts records of areas of training has to be provided reports submitted by students has to be placed during the inspection by nba visiting team contribution to community students projects and activities with contribution to the community carries 5 marks this aspect may be verified during the interaction with the students 2.2.6 information access facilities and student centric learning initiative in this era of information technology it is one of the most required criteria 
for any educational institute to create infrastructure for self-learning and facilitate for students' learning at their own pace, time, and convenience. The access to the most updated information is very essential component under this sub criterion NBA guidelines clearly specifies the expected ex requirements. The proof of utilization of these activities need to be presented before the visiting team for verification. New Initiatives for Embedding Professional Skills as per AICT model curriculum, many institutes and state councils have incorporated courses like life skills and professional skills in all semesters of the program. These courses address many aspects of these guidelines including personality development. The only requirement is that how the institute implement those courses and what are the qualities of content. The competency of the internal and external resource person delivering the content need to be documented for investigation by visiting team. Those activities need to be mapped to POs and PSOs and impact of the courses are to be analyzed. 2.2.8 Co-curricular and Extracurricular Activities The institution may specify the co-curricular and extracurricular activities and quantify the activities such as NCC and SS and participation in various state and national level missions. The department and the institute can develop appropriate rubrics for assessment of co-curricular and extracurricular activities and can quantify them. If that is so, the activities can be qualified as course and can be included for computation of PO to attainment. So these are the sub-criterion under the criterion 2 for teaching learning processes. Thank you.